All right, welcome back to another video. Oh, today I'm at our burlet to the waterfalls and the river kind of running down the way. This is uh, my third attempt to do a video this week. I've been thwarted with the weather and um, and overgrown areas. I went up Glen Clover at the, end, uh, the start of the week and uh, I got Thunder and lightning kind of ruined my trip, so I had to turn back and then I thought maybe I'll nip off to Old Bar or Ald Bar beside Brecon and then we got lost, I'll show you a clip, we took the wrong route and by the time we came back and found the, the proper route and got down to where the chapel and the graveyard and that is beside the river it was all overgrown, it was like six foot high of uh, hogweed and everything like that and I didn't want to go through there because that's dangerous stuff So. I had to turn back, so I got some video footage done and I'll let you see a bit of it. Right, so we've been wandering back and forward past the kind of spooky stage of this place and we can't find where we're going. We're looking for the chapel in the graveyard, but we can't find it and we, I think we went up the wrong drill. We're going to have to go back this way, go back down the hill and hopefully get there in time before it gets too dull and I lose my light. So we better crack on and get on with it. I can't we took the wrong road. There was a there was a fork in the roads and I said right, somebody else said left and then we ended up in the wrong direction. So hmm who could that have been? Not naming any names. Holding the camera <laughs> But um I I was thwarted twice. So third time lucky. So I've come to our burlet waterfall just south of Arbroath, it's just a couple of miles down the road from Arbroath and it's looking promising, there's a good flow of water and there's there's kind of like a heap, heap of different kind of aspects to kind of take, I don't want to just take a standard waterfall picture, I probably will take one, but I'm wanting something different because I see a lot of pictures of the waterfall here and don't get me wrong, I like a, I like a photo of a waterfall, but I want something different, I want to add an extra layer to it, maybe an extra foreground element and that's my plan and as you can see behind me there's like a, a fallen tree that's all overgrown, it's nice and lush and green and maybe if I wander about and have a good look about, I'm having a good scope about just now just to see what I can find and I think that might be, if I can capture it right, maybe get it to frame the waterfall because it's still and all the water's moving underneath it, so maybe a long exposure on the go, I don't know yet. Um, it's kind of a given, is it, when you get to near water, you want to do a long exposure, but um, we'll see, we'll see. But it's looking promising, the weather's alright, it's about one o'clock, half one in the afternoon, and I think it might be quite beneficial. I'm going to spend some time down here at this area, and then I might have a wander up or down, I've never been here before, so... It's all new to me and it's all a bit of a challenge. And I like a challenge. So we'll go and crack on, get set up. Right. So I'm clambering over the river just to try and find what I was saying earlier was a different aspect and this is kind of what I'm focusing on is this bit of branch here and then my main feature is the waterfall in the background and I can see like a wee window, wee window of opportunity if you like just to kind of shoot through using this green foliage here at the side as my, as my frame in the waterfall in the background. I don't think it's something I can get on my tripod though, so it's going to have to be a kind of steady hand at this and hopefully I get a decent image out of it and it just, it's, I'll let you see I'll bring the camera over if I fall in the water should have brought my wellies I'll turn around, I'll let you see you see that wee that wee hole there and you can see the waterfall in the background I move it side to side and I think that's going to be my first image I think that's what I'm going to try and catch her because, uh, capture, <laughs> catch her 
capture because I've got a wee bit of a broken branch in the in the foreground of this branch and then I've got all the green foliage which is really kind of photogenic and aye we'll go ahead and try and capture this what I did what I'd be doing is falling in the water and dropping my camera because then it would all be over the show would be done the video would be ruined what I'm doing is I'm looking through my camera before I before I take any image because I've got that much going on in the foreground I've got this kind of leaves here that you maybe can't see but I've got green leaves here in the front the water falls through in the back but I don't want any of the leaves that are kind of a wee bit further on to be ruining my image so I'm just kind of scoping about moving my camera about seeing what I can find to get a clear shot of the water So I'm on f2.8 ISO 100 in 100th of a second on my shutter speed It's a bit underexposed but that's the kind of way I like it because I like mucking about with it in Lightroom and If you can underexpose your images you can, you've got a whole lot more play when it comes to your post editing I've said that before And it's just about setting up your composition I've got my focus, my focus, my focus, <laughs> my focus peeking on, which is a good, it's a good kind of tool on my camera that I can use because it's a mirrorless camera. You get this focus peeking kind of option, and you can just when you're manually focusing it, you can slowly move it in and out to get the depth of field that you want, and it all lights up red on your screen, so you know what's in focus. Really got to try and be as still as I can. So I'm shooting now, it's one sixtieth of a second on my shutter speed. Any slight movement and it's just going to ruin the image. Right, I think it's time to kind of head up the river a bit. I had a crowd of folk there for a wee minute when I, when I was trying to take my last image here. But they've all disappeared, so I'm going to grab my spot before somebody else comes down. But as I'm kind of getting all my stuff packed away to move up the river, you guys can go ahead, we look about in the drone. I always find it a bit dodgy, putting the drone up in woods. Don't know why, I get a bit nervous with it. Don't want it going away pinging up, sometimes it can lose connection, it'll go away pinging up to a certain height, but always get the fear. An expensive bit of equipment I don't want to wreck. So, if I get my finger out, and we get up the river, grab my spot because it's a popular area, and I'll see you up there. You go in here, buzz about.
So in the excitement of trying to step over all the stepping stones all the way up, I dropped my phone and I'm lucky it didn't land in the water. I was like, oh, a nightmare. Crack. We're just expecting the screen to be cracked, but it's all right. She's a sturdy beast. So I've moved up a bit. I've got a better kind of a different angle. I've, I've lost that foreground element, but now I've gained another one. And there's a bit of light that's just hitting the froth of the water. I've got my camera on the tripod just now, but I'm going to take it off of that. And I'm going to just do some freestyling. No tripod required. And I'm going to catch that bit of light before it disappears. And that's one of the good things about shooting, uh, doing photography through the day. When the sun's high in the woods, because you get all these pockets of light appearing out of ev every, every cranny, every nook in the, in the canopy that's open. You get a beam of light coming down. So I'm going to stop yapping before it disappears. Take the camera off the tripod and see what I can get. It's all about being creative, using your imagination. So I've came up to the top end of the waterfall because there's a lot of people kicking about down the bottom. I've got a good few videos, uh, photos down there, but I'm quite liking this and I've been doing a bit of mucking about with Photoshop lately, uh, trying some kind of um, composite images. It's quite enjoyable, it's, it just gives a different kind of look to certain places that you would never ever see. and. Uh, I'm hoping that this image of the, the wee bit of the waterfall going down, I'm thinking that I can maybe muck about with that in Photoshop this time instead of Lightroom, my usual, and uh, just add something to it, add some f something more. So it's like a, a fantasy picture, if you know what I mean. That's my plan. That's the idea. Whether it comes to fruition or not is a different story altogether. But um, I'm quite liking this. I'm quite liking this image. I'm quite liking the whole setup. I've got the river kind of running off to the side. Like I said before, I don't like putting anything central. I always like to have it kind of offset. I just, it catches my eye a bit more. And with the, with the good flow of the water we've got, I've done a couple of long exposures, as, as, as long as I could get them without a filter. And uh, they're, they're looking pretty decent. I'm quite excited about these ones as well. Hopefully. A couple of gadgets earlier getting thrown. I don't think it's warm enough for that, but be a bit of nippy. There'll be nipples that can cut glass. Big scanny wheel nuts. If you care what a scanny is. So I think I'm gonna hang about here for about five, ten minutes. Hopefully the light comes back in the trees over there in the background. We get that bit of light. Plus the water and the white frothiness of the water. A wee bit of light in the background and then I've got the darkness of the rocks at the... Darkness in the rocks just to break the image up. So you've got the light of the froth of the water and then you've got the light at the back where the, um, where the light's hitting the trees. And then the darkness of the rocks. And the rocks are something that you can really muck about when uh, in Lightroom and you can dodge and burn it. And when I say dodge and burn, it's like you can heighten the exposure just so it doesn't look plain grey. You can lighten the exposure in certain parts just to make it look like the light's hitting off it. It really is a, a good effect for your images. I don't think I'll stick a drone up again though. But the sun's coming out. So I've just moved the camera over just a wee bit 
and I've got on a bit of the, the tree in the side and the, the, on the left hand side and it just seems to be adding a bit more of an effect. I mean I've got a couple of pictures of the arch and the reflection in the water but it was kind of an arch and a reflection in the water, it was just basic, it was just, it was interesting but it wasn't, it wasn't what I was looking for so all I've done is I've moved the camera over a metre and I've got this bushes and this tree, I think it's a, maybe a, a beech tree kind of hanging over and it's just adding an extra effect on the edge of the picture plus we've got the river a wee bit of a river coming into the background and then the reflection as well of the arch and that's three two extra elements from the picture i took earlier and it just adds more to your story and it really is as simple as that also i've got a wee bit of the because i'm shooting at 17 mil I've got a wee bit of the rocks on the bottom right hand side, the bush on the, the part of the tree on the left hand side and then I've got the curve of the arch coming over, I've got the reflection underneath and the river at the back and it's just, just by moving it a metre over to my left, it's a different, a different image altogether. And it's a cracking image to be honest. I've got a few decent ones this, on this trip, I'm quite happy with. Might just lighten up a wee bit. So 140th of a second, f2.8, ISO 100. Perfect. Stunning. Oh, here you are, face to face in this trashy bar. Another glass and I am going places Makes me laugh about the irony of everything I like the way you're thinking I don't really care about the music on the dance floor I don't really mind all the smoke is in the back Right, we'll pack up and we'll here wander up towards the car I think I highly recommend this spot by the way, first time I've been here myself, seen a few folk here before and uh, always wanted to come and there's that many opportunities if you think out of the box and not just focus on the waterfall, you think of other things that are going on around you, even at a distance that you probably just exclude because you're in awe of the waterfall as soon as you come in, walk back and then walk up if you're coming in from a different angle go downstream and walk upstream and see what layers there are there as you're walking up with your eye and it just pings off ideas I could sit here and a oh, beastie look ping ping it's like an ant a flying ant anyway and it just pings off ideas in your head of all these different kind of things and you get a different photo than everybody else hopefully hopefully maybe setting myself up on a pedestal there So, aye, we'll go and start heading towards the car. <laughs> Dodgy patter. Fun though. Great, now the light comes out. Hey guys, that'll be the end of that trip, an eventful trip, a very good one, with heaps of good images I think, I'm quite happy with that, it's enjoyable, um, different place than I've been there before, but uh, got a good use of all the settings on the, on the camera, at one point it was right up to f22, but sometimes that's what you've got to do, you might not get the clearest image, but these settings are there for a reason, so why not use them, so. That's what I've done. I did have a filter so I could get the, the speed I wanted on my um, on my long exposures. It's a kind of new lens that I've got and I've not gone around to getting a filter, which is more than lazy fault to be honest. But I think um, the images I've got and the ideas that I had and the, the thinking outside the box ideas that I had, 
I think I'm going to be spoilt for choice when I come to look at them when I get home, which I'm quite looking forward to. So, time to go home, and thanks for watching. And if you liked this video, if you enjoyed it, um, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, leave a comment underneath this video just now, it's at the bottom. I, I post a lot on Facebook, I, I kind of put my videos on Facebook as well, and people seem to comment a lot on that, and not really on the YouTube thing. But if you could comment on my YouTube channel, it really helps the channel grow. This is the fir uh, first video I've done in a while, like I've only done two in the past two months. Um, and I'm hoping to start picking it up a bit more again. So if you hit the subscribe, hit the like, and I will see you guys in the next video, wherever that may be. That's been our burlet, just outside our bro, and it's time for me to go home. Put the stuff in the car and go. Ciao for now.